Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a requested video from you guys and that is a video all on my favorite brushes. And I am really excited to be doing this for you guys today because I feel like a lot of times in my makeup tutorials I get carried away with the actual makeup products that I'm using and then don't really ever talk about the brushes. And I've always been a person that believed that you can make really crappy makeup look really bomb if you have the right tools to apply it. So makeup brushes are super, super important. So I wanted to give them a full video so I could show you guys all of my favorites and all of these are affordable brushes. I actually didn't even do this on purpose. I literally just pulled out my favorite brushes, the ones that I go to all the time and they all happen to be affordable ones. No Mac up in here. I have a bunch of MAC brushes, but I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of dupes that I found for a lot of my favorite MAC brushes that I actually use more than my MAC brushes now because trust me, MAC brushes are beautiful. I totally love them, but ain't nobody got $40 laying around to spend on an eyeshadow brush from MAC. Let's be real. If you do, good for you, girl. But this video is going to be more about affordable options that are still super bomb, super high quality. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing my top makeup brushes, then just keep on watching. All right, so I think first I'm gonna start with face brushes and then I'll move to eye brushes. And I have a whole mixture of brands, like this is not just one brand. Um, I have a bunch of different brands of my favorite brushes that I'm gonna show you guys. So I'll just start with face. Actually, super quick before we get into brushes, I do wanna give an honorable mention to two of my favorite tools, but they're not brushes, so I'm not gonna include them in the actual video, but they are the Beauty Blender and the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. Yes, these are clean. It drives me nuts that mine are stained, so they look like that they're not clean, but they are. I literally just clean them. I clean them every time before I use them. But yeah, I wanted to give honorable ben on can I speak? Honorable mention to both of these guys because they are amazing. I use these to apply my foundation and blend out my concealer pretty much on a daily basis. They're bombs. So you guys are not really going to see that many foundation brushes in here. They're going to be more for everything else, but for liquid foundation and liquid concealer, these are my go-to. So I did want to give a little honorable mention to them, even though they're not technically brushes. But now let's get into the actual brushes. All right. So the first brush is the Morphe G2 brush. I love, love, love this brush. If you're into full coverage concealer. As I said right before, I do use the Beauty Blender or the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge when I blend out my concealer on a daily basis, although that does take some of the product and kind of makes it a more sheer, natural looking coverage. But when I really want a super highlighted, super full coverage under eye, I will use this to blend out my under eye concealer. This is just the perfect like shape. The way it's shaped is just like perfect for my under eye area and it just blends it out so flawlessly and so gently. Like their brushes are literally so soft. I love them and they're very, very affordable. Up next, we'll move on to blush brushes and I have two because I kind of use them differently. The first one is the F4 Powder Blush Brush from Mojo Beauty. You guys are gonna hear me talk about a lot of Mojo Beauty brushes. I love their brushes. You guys know that if you've watched any of my makeup tutorials, their brushes are super bomb. But this is their blush brush, the F4, and I absolutely love this. This is kind of like my go-to daily blush brush. It's easy. It works. It's perfect. The bristles are so soft. Mojo makes honestly the best brushes. Like if I could only pick one brand, I would go with Mojo. I just love, love, love their brushes. I have a link down below and a coupon code with them if you guys are interested, but um, I absolutely love their brushes. They do have a complete 15 professional brush kit, I think is what it's called. I gave it away um, to one of you guys in my 50k subscriber giveaway, but I love that. So a lot of these brushes that I'm going to talk about can be found in that 15 piece brush kit. But again, I do have brushes from other brands as well. But if you're kind of looking to just get like one kit from one brand, I would suggest getting that. So I'll put a link to it down below if you guys are interested, um, as long as I can find one online. But their blush brush is bomb and I use it all the time. But if there's a day when I want a really precise blush, like I don't want it really like all over the cheek, like maybe I just want it back here or something, I will go in with this little guy. This is from Bare Minerals and this is their tapered blush brush. This is so old, you guys, like probably at least three years old, if not older. So I hope they still have this like in their stores, but this is just the tiniest, cutest little blush brush. And it's so easy just to really get in there precisely and put your blush on. So I do love this as well on days when I kind of want to be super precise with where I'm putting my blush. Up next, we have a contour and this is really important. And I have tried so many different contour brushes because if you really want your contour to look on fleek and like perfect and precise, you really need a good brush to do that. And I've tried so many and as of recent, my favorite has been this one from It Cosmetics. And this brush does not say anything on it besides It Cosmetics. And I cannot find a brush that looks exactly like this, like identical packaging anywhere. 
like online because I've tried to link it down below but I think they just changed the like way their brushes look but they have the same brush with just like different packaging like I guess a newer one so I will link that down below and I forget what it's called but it'll all be down below um, but this is amazing I think it's called like their angled blush brush but I use it to contour and it just gives you a really really nice precise contour because it does have that angle and it's kind of like really cut and sharp which I like. My next favorite brush is the Tapered Highlight F7. This is from Mojo and this is a super tiny precise blush and blush brush. I keep doing that. And what I use this for is when I want a super precise contour, since this is so much smaller than the IT Cosmetics one. Like, if I'm going in with a super dark bronzer, I'll use this because it's a little bit less harsh and you can really, like, focus wherever you want that product to go. I also, a lot of times, will use this to blend out my contour because it just is so soft, so it blends everything out super flawlessly. But this brush also dubs as a highlight brush as well. So I can use this to highlight your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, above your cupid's bow. It's just, again, so soft just lays the product down perfectly and very precisely so I absolutely love this for both contouring and highlighting. Another brush that I love for highlighting, although I don't love it that much for contouring, just really highlighting, is the Pure Minerals Blurring Powder Brush. This again is really, really great to highlight. You can highlight your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, above your cupid's bow, pretty much anywhere with this little guy. It's just very soft. Again, it kind of has like a, I don't know, duo fiberness to it or whatever, but it just kind of packs on the products without like overdoing it so love this to do my highlight. I've actually blended out my under eye concealer with this brush as well and it works really well for that although I do prefer it to highlight. The next favorite brush is what I use to apply my bronzer. If you've watched any of my tutorials you know what this is. This is the Real Techniques Multitask brush. This is amazing. It's just like the perfect amount of fluffy. It's the perfect size because it's not too big. It's not too small. It's just like a medium fluffy blending brush that just makes it so easy to blend out your bronzer. This is literally the only brush I use for bronzer ever. Like it's just amazing. I have never found something that I think is nearly as good. Like I couldn't even find a bronzing brush like from MAC that's as good as this. Like this is just amazing. I love this. Next, my favorite brush for applying powder to my face is the Morphe G7 brush. Again, this is a very densely packed brush, but it is not too big because I feel like sometimes powder brushes are huge. Like, literally, like, your whole face is covered by the brush. Like, I don't like it to be that big. This is just the most perfect size for my face, if you guys can kind of see. It's really like a medium-sized brush, but it's so densely packed and it just packs on the powder exactly where you want it to go because, especially when you're using, like, a powder product, like a finishing powder or something, you want it to be be like very densely packed and the Morphe brushes are so densely packed like there are so many little bristles in here and they never fall out too like I don't know how they do that because there are so many bristles but they never fall out which is amazing as well so absolutely love this for applying powder all over the face. And then my last face brush is the Mojo Beauty Duo Fiber F1 brush. This is a brush that I use pretty much every day, although you guys probably never see me use it in tutorials because I normally just cut it out because I don't ever put product on this brush. I just keep it clean and whenever I'm done doing all of my face products, I will go over my face and kind of swirl this all around my face to just make sure everything blends seamlessly. This is just such an amazing brush. I absolutely love it. This is an exact dupe for the MAC 187 brush. My MAC 187 is just dirty because I don't use it that often and I washed all of my brushes that I like always use so I could show you guys. Um, but they are the same thing. The MAC one just looks bigger I think because it's like filled with products and this one isn't. Um, but they are the same thing. They work the same. Honestly, I think the Mojo Beauty one is softer like or they're the same like this is literally the same brush, but this one is way more expensive. So I absolutely love this. Again, like I said, I don't actually put any product or anything on with this. I just love to go around my face in circular motions when I'm done like with contour, highlight, blush, everything just to blend everything seamlessly so there are no harsh lines. This is just amazing for that. So my first eye brush is not necessarily for the eyelid, but I use this brush to clean up my brows and also snatch my edges on the side there to make super sharp edges out of my shadow, and that is the Mojo Beauty F5 Concealer Brush. This is just the perfect tiny little concealer brush. I love this. It just goes in, gets those edges. You can get this guy in anywhere, and it's kind of like dome shape, which I like as well, so I can just put product right on like the side or right in the center and really get in super precise, so I love this brush. Next, we have the Mojo Beauty E5 Blending Brush. If you've watched any of my tutorials, you know that this 
is my baby. I love this brush. I don't think I've ever done an eye look like within the last year without first starting with this brush. But it makes your shadow look so beautiful. Like it just blends everything out so flawlessly. I always go in with this brush first with a neutral blending color and just blend everything out. And then as I keep adding more and more colors, I'm always going back in with this brush in some form, blending everything out. It just blends any shadow out. Literally, you guys could go in with a matte black eyeshadow and this would blend it out seamlessly, like no problem. This is just my baby. If you buy one brush from all this, make it this one because it is amazing. And right after that is another one of my babies and this is the Mojo Beauty E4 Small Tapered Blending. The E4 is just a smaller version of the E5. They're literally the same brush, they just changed the bristle color and this one is a little bit smaller. So I like to go in with this one since it is more tapered. So after I get kind of that neutral blending color, I'll go in with a darker color in the crease and blend it out with this because it is a little bit more precise just because it is smaller but it blends everything out seamlessly as well. Like, I don't know how Mojo makes these brushes, but they are so soft and they just are blending machines. They make everything so, so easy. So love this for darker colors in the crease area. It just blends them out, pops them on, and you're done. And this brush is an exact dupe for the MAC 224 brush. I used to love this brush. I still do. I mean, it's still an amazing brush, but this is an exact dupe. The Mojo Beauty E4 is an exact dupe for the 224. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, 224 from MAC. They're literally the same brush. Everybody always talks about the 224. This is the same and like half the price. So yeah. Up next, again from Mojo, I swear their eye brushes, I mean all their brushes, but especially their eye brushes, there's nothing better. Like seriously. So the next one is the Blending E6 brush. I love this. This is just a regular, like I feel like every like brand like makes brushes like this. I don't know what they're called though, but this is like a regular blending brush, I guess. I don't know. It's not like domed or anything. It's just kind of like a flat blending brush. But this again, I use in the crease. This is great for cut creases. This is great. You can even pack on like on your lid with this. Although I wouldn't recommend that for this. I use this more in the crease myself. I just love this. Again, it makes blending out everything so seamlessly. Normally I'll go in with the E5 first with a neutral blending color, then an E4 with kind of a darker color, and then if I want to do any other colors, I'll go in with this one because it is just amazing. And this one, again, since it's not domed on the top and it's more flat, is going to give a more precise like flat type line which again is why I said it's really great for like cut creases and stuff like that if you want it to be like super defined this is the brush that you should go for and this brush is an exact dupe to the MAC 217 this is the MAC 217 this is the Mojo E6 they're literally the same thing the MAC 217 again is a lot more expensive a great brush but they're the same. The next brush I want to talk about is the brush that I always go to to pack shadow on my lids and I feel like this is such an undervalued brush like nobody talks about them and they're so amazing and that is the Urban Decay shadow brushes. This one came in the original Naked palette I do believe although they gave one in the Naked 2, the Naked 3, I think they give one in the Naked Smoky as well but these brushes are amazing and I feel like no one really talks about Urban Decay brushes but their shadow brushes I think are great. They pack on products like no other brush I've ever tried so I love these. I don't know if you can buy them separately like outside of the Naked kits or not. Um, I hope that you can, but I absolutely love that. Next, I have this tiny little baby brush right here. This is like so tiny. I don't even know if the camera can like see it, but this is from Eco Tools, which is a drugstore brand. You guys can get this at the drugstore. I think I got this brush in a kit with a couple other brushes, although I'm going to talk about another one as well. And it was a while ago, so I hope they still sell it, but I'll link it down below as long as I can find it. And they don't have any names. Oh wait, they do. This is the Eco Tools shade brush. Oh, I didn't know they had names. Now I'm excited. But this is like a really tiny little brush and what I love to use this brush for is to highlight my brow bone and also pack color onto my inner corner if I want to highlight that as well. This is just the go-to brush that I don't have any brush that's like this tiny and small and so cute and precise so I love to use this for both of those areas. And then also from Equal Tools I like this little brush and this is the smudge brush. Again super super tiny. I don't know if this was like a travel size kit or something because normally like smudge brushes are bigger than this and these are like kind of tiny so maybe it was. I really hope that I can find it because these are really, really bomb. I love this 
to put product on my lower lash line. A lot of times I'll use this to really smoke out that lower lash line. Like I'll use a more precise brush, which I'll show you guys next, to really apply products. And I'll use this to kind of smudge it out. And it's just amazing. You can also use this on your top lashes as well, really just to smudge anything out. This is really, really great, but still precise because it is so tiny. And then my last favorite brush is the brush that I said I do use to pack on product to my lower lash line. And that is the Shader E2 brush from Mojo Beauty. This is a super tiny like short dense brush and I just dip this into the eyeshadow and then we'll go underneath my lower lash line with it and just gets the product on there and makes it stay which I love because you want a really dense brush for that area because it's going to go everywhere if you don't use a dense one so absolutely love this brush for that and that's what I always use on my lower lash line. So yeah those are all of my favorite brushes. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. I will do my absolute best to link every single brush down below for you guys because I know a lot of them I was like unsure on the name and stuff so yeah just check the bottom bar if you're interested in getting any of them and thank you guys so so much for watching I will see you very soon in my next video bye